Good morning, Facebook clan, YouTube fans. Here we are in Vincenzo's kitchen. I'm going to show you real fast how to make a totally flyerless pizza. And what we've done is we have taken one cup of Parmesan Romano blend and we have taken a half a cup of mozzarella and a half a cup of the six cheese blend. Combined that with some Italian seasoning and some garlic. We took our fork and mixed it all up. In our pan, which is a lid, 9 inch, we've coated it with olive oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to let it heat up a little bit, about a medium heat. And then we're just going to dump it right in the pan. And we're going to smooth it out and start the pizza. So here we go. You can hear the sizzle. Take your fork, just spread it out, even in the pan. Just like that. We want to put our lid on it. We're going to let that go for just a few minutes. Now would be a good time if you wanted to add some extra Italian seasoning to that, if you wanted to add some garlic powder to that, chopped chives, that kind of thing, and would have all our ingredients ready to go. I have a plate there, I have uh, a spatula there, and what we're doing is we're letting that kind of congeal and melt together before we add our sauce and I'm going to add some Genoa salami in there since I ran out of uh, the pepperoni slices which is what I would have preferred so you can hear it sizzling there what you want to kind of do is keep your eyes around the edge of the cheese until it starts to turn brown and then you know you're getting close total cooking time on this is maybe five minutes maybe six minutes maybe even seven minutes all you have to, it depends on how high you have your heat. You want your heat at about a medium uh, on the pan. And you definitely need the lid. The lid works well. You can watch the moisture gather from the, uh, on the lid. So you know you're, you're doing it properly. So I'm going to step in here and just take a look. Yep, there we go. You can see it's just starting to turn brown around the edges. I'm going to take some sauce, some of my good sauce, and I'm just going to go right around there. You can hear the sizzle. And then I'm going to start laying my salami on there. I'm going to completely cover the top of this. If I had some uh, minced olives, I'd throw some olives on this as well. It's pretty quick. Put the lid back on it. Let that go for another maybe a minute. Shouldn't really need more than that. You can hear the sizzle, you can smell all the goodness, and remember this is a total flourless crust. You won't need to add any cheese to it, although I have a little bit of here on the top of the pan, I'm just going to sprinkle that on a little bit. Put the lid back on. Had a little bit stuck in the bottom of the container. So we'll let him go. You can hear the sizzle. We don't want to raise the heat. You don't want to lower the heat. You kind of just want to uh, let it cook, which is what it's doing. Again, you want to lift the lid. You want to see the moisture come on the lid. 
and you'll see it cooking around the edges. I'm going to double check the edge here, see if we're close. Oh, we are definitely close. So we've got our plate. We're ready to go. Take them off the pan. Super hot. I want to get the shape on him good before he hardens back up again. Turn my fire off at the risk of burning my hands. And this will be a nice, crispy, crunchy. pizza. You can notice the, the crisp. You can actually hear it. You want to let it cool down a minute before you try to slice it with your pizza cutter. Which is what I've done here. And you can hear a nice crunch. And there you have it. A nice totally flourless pizza. Yummy. That's how quick and easy it is. All right, there's another quick video in Vincenzo's kitchen. Been a busy morning. I'm going to have this for lunch. Everybody enjoy this beautiful weather day. Remember to be kind to one another. Help your neighbor if you can. Okay, see ya.